As many of you know, Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels director Guy Ritchie has been hard at work on his upcoming King Arthur movie scheduled to be released on July 22nd. The film stars Sons of Anarchy's Charlie Hunnam, Jude Law and Jaimin Hansu. However, it has been announced that the film has been pushed back all the way to February 2017. The film was scheduled to open against Ice Age Collision Course and Star Trek Beyond, but will now go head to head with Maze Runner, The Death Cure and Baz bad boys three john what does this move indicate to you <laughs> um sorry i'm being a little bit facetious there um it's not no it's never a good sign it that's that's never a good sign when we're only like six seven months out from the movie coming out and all of a sudden they push it into the following year and they take it from a prime high value spot like the summer season july uh, because you believe in the film it can compete and then you move it to february um now look i, I can't back any of the we're, we're speculating completely at this point just so to work, we have that on the table but i mean from what we understand there was a screening mm -hmm. of the film the film's complete or at least there's a completed version of it to mm -hmm. the best of our understanding and there was a screening of it and then shortly after that test screening is done Oops, we got to push it back right. to February. It's it's not a good sign. And you got to understand, I love Charlie Hunnam, I, Sons of Anarchy, in my top probably five all-time favorite television shows. Guy Ritchie, both Lock, Stock, and Snatch are in my top 50 all-time favorite films. Snatch, probably in my top 20. I love that film. I love Guy Ritchie. But this, there's something about this King Arthur project that has never felt right. Um, but, I mean, that happens sometimes. Then you watch the movie, and it's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that, but... Something has not felt right about this, and this move makes me very dubious about it. Anyway, Christian, you heard this news. I am I making too much out of this? Or no, what you're you not at all. This is a big uh-oh. Um, <laughs> it's because a big uh-oh. When I, when I heard it uh, originally, I was thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe they're going to just work on the script a little bit, take some more time, and kind of do what Assassin's Creed did. And, but then when you find out there's an actual screening of it, mm -hmm. and it's and not completely done, but there's a version done, what it means, I think, is that they had they had a screening, and they went, this thing is a mess. Like we can't, we can't compete with summer movies with this. We need to do reshoots. Right. We need to do a lot more. See what's available in February. At least they didn't dump it into January because they know that February. At least they're gonna, from the scale, they've got to try to compete. And by putting it in February, it's it's not necessarily a dumping ground. Doesn't look like it's a dumping ground if you put it there. But it's not a summer movie right. anymore. And that you're taking it out of the summer big big hitters and now you're putting it in february saying we don't have all the confidence in the world and there probably will i we're gonna do a story eventually whether it's in a month from now or three months from now reshoots on king arthur they're right. gonna be reshoots <laughs> there's gonna be all these things because they screened it and now the execs over there whoever else has a lot of notes yeah um, so yeah, I was actually walking around when they were handing out all the test screening, like, and I was like, "Oh wow, Guy the Ritchie invites to the, the invites," and it was Guy Ritchie, and uh, and so I knew exactly what it was, and they even say it's like about King Arthur. So a bunch of people in, in California got a chance to come to a, a, a test screening. When they do these test screenings, it's not like an assembly, like it's not like a rough rough cut where you're like, "Hmm, I wonder if you should add this," or it's an actually like a finished cut with test, you know, probably rough music, not the finished score, rough sound effects, but it's put to, it's put together enough where you can actually see the film. It's not like, you know, special effects scenes missing with big cards. They don't do that anymore. When they actually show a movie to an audience for a test screening, it's as done as it can possibly be. Right. So that, you know, test screening happening and then now knowing that it's being pushed back a full year definitely made me concerned because I was actually excited. I was like, I even possibly could have gone to this screening and I was like, ah, I don't have time right now. It's coming out in like six months. I'll see it then. Obviously, I won't be seeing it in six right. months or even a year. So hopefully you will be hearing about reshoots and you know they'll be fixing certain things that you know the test scores you know i guess unanimously said brought up enough concerns that's that's a that's a big no no when you hear like oh it's being pushed out of the prime spot against the beastie boys sabotage movie and now they're going against <laughs> you know like uh you know scorchio the right. maze runner you know what i mean it's like hey it's a different it's a diff, you know it's different and hey look and let's let's be fair about this too let's look at a film another film that got pushed back a lot tons of reshoots uh world war z right, right? That was a movie that was a bloody mess. Mm -hmm. It was a terrible, terrible mess. The studio knew it. Brad Pitt knew it. And what they did was they bit the bullet and say, we're going to push this thing way back. They reshot like three quarters of the movie. It almost turned out to be a completely different movie. 
And it's a good thing that they did because I actually thought World War Z turned out to be not a bad film. Yeah. Whereas before, and it made them a lot of money and now we got a sequel coming. So sometimes that's a good thing. But from where we're sitting, it's hard to not to think that Wow, this movie must be a real mess and, as of right now. And unfortunately, World War Z was kind of an anomaly because that's when I, when when you bring up when right. you bring up that th this type of situation, World War Z is always the one that pe that people will say. Well, look, World War Z made it work. What other ones can you say that about? Because a lot of times when this happens, a lot of times it, yeah. it it's normally the worst. And I hope that I, I I'm with you guys. I want this to be good. I like Guy Ritchie a lot. I like both the Sherlock Holmes films as well too. And I think that this could be a really cool movie. I like to see Charlie Hunnam do something that can maybe push him out into more of a mainstream thing that he could do. And I think this could be it if it works. I just it just makes me nervous. Here, but here's the other thing too. I think we will all agree though, and I think you guys would agree too, that if our presumptions here are correct and this this movie is a bloody mess right now if king author is just horrible the the people test screening it don't like it and the execs at the studio and guy rich are sitting back and saying this was not our best effort would we rather a them just push ahead and release it in july anyway or b push it back seven months give themselves three more months to reshoot a bunch of stuff restructure the film and make it a better film I'd say if you know you have a bad film right now, and that's a big if, but if you know you have a bad film right now, take the shot. Take the shot, see if you can fix it up, and give. And maybe it'll turn out to be worse, right. but at least you're trying to make it better, and I applaud them for the effort if that's the case. And you're also, by putting in February, the positives of putting in February, is you're only really going up against the, the third movie of the Maze Runner as opposed to these other Star Trek, the third movie, which regardless of what you think about the music and the trailer, it's going to do really well sure. and probably going to win the weekend. Um, and then what's the other one that's going up against? Oh, Scorchio. I, no, no, that's, that, that's in February. Well, oh, that's February. Yeah, that's February. The, the bad Boys. Bad, bad, bad Boys. No, no, that's in February oh. as, as well, too. But regardless, I mean... That, it's going to have Ice Age Continental Drift. Yes, Ice Age right. was another one, the kids' movie. So it's going to, it's probably going to take more of a hit if it's not good in the summertime than to put a little bit more effort in and patch it up in February. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.